Hello everyone and welcome back to the new episode of how to build Swift UI app on TVOS. In the last episode, we discussed about the basic introduction, how simulator works and its user interaction. Today, we are going to discuss something interesting. First one is tab view, which is a navigation guide. And second one is focus action, which is really important and it, which is really interesting and was introduced in DC 21. Now it was introduced because of a problem that you cannot navigate diagonally in TVOS. So we are going to look at the both episode tab view and focus section in this part. So let's see how it works. So here is a sample app that you will be achieving by the end of this tutorial. So let's get started. Now here we have declared a struct and we have created a background image and we have given a state variable of background image where we will be setting our background image on change of tab view. Then we have declared a Z stack and Z stack is used to work on the Z axis. We have added an image that will be first presented and after that tab view will be added above that image. We have given ignore safe area why? Because usually if we don't add the safe area, what's going to happen is that it's going to give the safe area padding. So if I look, it will give padding to the top, bottom, left, right. So in order to make it full screen, I will add ignore safe area. After that, we have created a tab view. And in this tab view, we have created three different views. Games main view, media view, store view. These are empty views and we have created these view to give the image. After adding this view to the tab view, we have created tab item and in this tab item, we have given two things, name and its icon. Now, if I look back, we have name and icon. After a pairing of any view, what I'm doing is that I'm updating its background image. So by updating its background image, what it does is whenever I switch to another tab, it updates its background image. So let's look how it looks like. So here we have game. So right now it's selected games and we have label and its icon. Then we have background image. And whenever I'm going to switch to media, it's going to update the background image state and on a pair, the background image is going to be updated. And we have added ignore safe area. And because of that, the safe area padding is being ignored. So let's move on to the next learning part, which is focus section. Now, before I start focus section, I need to recall that we discussed in episode one that the user can interact on TV in a grid system, but we have few situations where you have to navigate from top right to center or top bottom. So how are we going to achieve that? We are going to look in this part. So let's see what it looks like. So I have created two button in the focus section. Now there are two buttons, but I can, I cannot move if I haven't declared the focus section. So right now we have side menu and login. And if I'm going to drag it to the from side menu to login, it's not going to work. Why? Because it says that if there is a button beneath it or on the right, then only you can navigate. So in order to navigate diagonal, we need to introduce focus section. So let's look at how it works. So here we have created a V stack. And in that V stack, we have given an H stack. Now H stack has button side menu and we have another S stack which have login press. So if I look at its side menu and its login press. Now, if, if you think that by adding the focus section on the button is going to work, no, that's not the case. We need to create either this section, this whole section of focus or this whole. So in order to move diagonal, we need to create a container in which we have button and we have to make the those container a focus section. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create a nest stack and a stack is going to appear at this size. And we have created, we have created another edge stack, which is again of this size. So what's going to happen is that it's going to navy. If, if I'm going to navigate downwards, it's going to appear on login. So let me show you the frames in order to make it more clear. So here we have our TV screen. And now if I'm going to look at the side menu part, so you can see that we have created a container and in this container, we have given a focus section and we have another container. And in this container, again, we have given a focus section. So after creating a container, now it appears as a grid. Why? Because it's when we have one container at the top and we have another container at the bottom. So we will be moving like a grid from top to bottom. So let's see how it works. 
So if I'm going to press downward, it's going to appear on login. And if I'm going to press upward, it's going to move back to side menu. So this is how you can move diagonal to any part in the TV screen. But it's important to int make container of full scale so that it works as a grid. So whenever you need to move diagonal or you have a functionality of moving diagonal in, a, in your TV screen, you need to introduce focus section. That's what we discussed in this episode. So it is important to have a containers parallel to each other so that whenever user is going to move up or down, right, left, the our, the TV knows that it exists in its grid system. So if I'm going to remove this focus section, it's going not going to work. And if I'm going to make this container short again, it's not going to work. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned how to move diagonal in the TV screen and how to implement tab views. In the next episode, we are going to learn about the focus state and how we can manage a focus on runtime. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something new. Stay tuned for more tutorials.